you seem pretty comfortable in there. Actually, the longer you're in, the number you get, and then it's not so bad. When it hurts so bad, when it hurts so when bad, it hurts so bad, when it hurts so bad, it was it feels. So for a proper ice bath, you need ice. Next time, I'll just shovel snow from the driveway. And obviously, the water's freezing too. Okay, so this is the hardest part. This is the first minute. <sighs> and I should be wearing a hat and mittens, but I'm not. I'm not allowed to start it until I'm all the way submerged. <laughs> so, I haven't done this for a long time. Wait, where's your leaving your top on? <sighs> Yeah. Oh, you're just going in from your yeah, waist down. Yeah, just waist okay. down. Yeah, it's all about the legs. Right. Yep, and this I need to conserve body heat. So here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh, boy. oh no, I haven't even started yet. I got my password wrong. Okay. Just come back later. Here we are. We're not quite, not quite at one minute. Do you want to share any, share any of your one minute thoughts? Um, I do. Let me see your face. Any thoughts? Um, nope. No? It's just really cold. I'm going to be so happy when this is over. It's going to be so worth it. It's so good for me. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Off. Tomorrow it will all be worth it. Have you restricted the blood flow uh, adequately or do you maybe need more? I have. Minutes? All the lactic acid is just draining right out from the bottom of my feet. Let's see. See? You see it all leaving? <laughs> Today is track workout day, which means uh, it's a treadmill workout day because there's no tracks that are uncovered from snow. So at the gym and uh, gonna go in and warm up. Today, I'm doing a mile warm up, um, five times 100 meters at 3.56, and a mile cool down, and 400 meter rest in between. One down at 3.52, definitely harder than I thought. Two down, 3.51, and my legs got some turnover that time. It was better. Three, 3.52. It's actually feeling better than the first one, <laughs> and the second one. Three quarter two. Three fifty-two. Time for cool down. One mile. Slow. That was a pretty good workout. I liked it. Um, the first one is definitely the hardest because my legs are just like, oh, I'm going fast and I don't really want to yet. And then the second one is like, oh, I understand. I can do this. I've done this a million times. And so each one actually progressively got better, not worse, um, even though I was getting a little more tired. Um, my legs were like, they click in and then they stay there. So thanks guys. Frozen bananas, oat milk, pea milk, protein powder, almost gone, matcha powder, coconut, cinnamon, vanilla, maple syrup, ice cubes, cheers. I make it different each time, that one's pretty good though.
Yeah, I'm feeling a little out of commission today, and I was going to do my uh, tempo workout, which I was pretty psyched for. Okay, you have to see this view too, it's so pretty. Right? I love the ocean. Um, yeah, so it was a tempo workout today, but um, I woke up not feeling good. Yesterday I had a headache after my workout. I thought I was just dehydrated. I drank a ton of water. Um, but when I did a little bit of um, tracing backwards, think about what I might have done wrong. Um, I've been getting enough sleep, but the night before my track workout, I did not eat a substantial amount of food for dinner. And then after my workout, I did immediately have my delicious protein shake, but um, after that, my lunch was pretty lame. Um, what did I do? I think I just had like tortilla chip salsa, a little bit of hummus, and some brie cheese. And it's just not, it's like pretty much a big snack. It was just not enough food, not enough protein. And um, it was just a serious rookie mistake because if I don't fuel properly, I'm just... I'm not getting the benefits from my workout and I'm not going to be feeling strong. So today um, I woke up and I went back to sleep for like three more hours and then I finally got up and then um, took a nap. So um, I'm just trying to get myself better. I took a lot of um, vitamins and supplements to try to help boost my immune system right away. Um, usually if I can just like bite this in, in the butt the first day that I feel sick, I tend to recoup pretty quickly. So I'm hoping that if I just kind of decommission myself for the day that I'll be, be feeling better for tomorrow and I can run tomorrow instead. Um, kind of screws up my week because now I probably won't have time for a lifting day, but that's all right. The runs are more important than the lifting. I can, I can do with a week without my lifting. Um, so this is uh, week 13 as I count down and I am not going to be making that food mistake again. I need to be buying more food. I need to stock more in my fridge. I need to have more available proteins ready for myself. It is not the time to skimp out. So yep, that's my pledge to improve my training and I'm um, not gonna screw up that that more than once so that's all I got to say about that lesson learned so it's Saturday and I took two days off in a row because I wasn't feeling good um, I'm feeling much better right now it's kind of sunny about 30 degrees I'm in York near the ocean and I've got six miles to do a mile warm-up and four miles at seven minutes and 19 seconds and then a mile cool down so I'm gonna run along the coast today and um, we'll see how it goes. I just did my four mile tempo and apparently I have no idea what 719 feels like because I was feeling so good at first and I hadn't run for two days. I had like a spring in my step and it didn't even feel fast, but even my warm up was under eight minutes, which is too fast for a warm up and then my first mile tempo was 650. So how oh, I don't know the difference between 30 seconds of speed. Jeez. And then the the second tempo mile was 703 and <clears throat> on the third one I started to feel my mistake and so it felt harder but I was running so 7.30 and then the last one was 7.35 so man I gotta get that 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 speed down the thing is I've been doing tempos on the treadmill usually because a lot of days have been too icy or snowy or, or really cold so I don't go outside for the faster stuff so I feel like I'm gonna pull something but um <clears throat> so for that reason I am um, I put in the correct speed on the treadmill and I'm good to, to go, but you know, it kind of turns off my mind because I don't have to think about what it feels like. I'm just like a rat on a wheel, you know? So <clears throat> yeah, running outside is always better, but um, I gotta work on my 
gotta work on feeling my splits better. I used to be better at this. So that's okay though, I mean, whatever, man. It was still, still a decent run. I mean, it was hard. <laughs> and it's nice to be outside, it's a little bit of sun. People were walking on the beach. So I'm gonna shut this thing off so I can do my cool down. Just being cute. That's his job. <laughs> okay, apparently I do know what 719 minute miles feels like because I took zero account into the fact that there was a 10 mile per hour wind that was at my back for the first three miles. So even my warm up with the wind at my back makes sense that it was under eight minutes. Like usually a warm up mile would be like an 8.30. So it makes sense that my first tempo mile was 30 seconds faster. The second one was 20 seconds faster. The first one was probably just a little too fast in general anyway. Um, but the second one at 7.03 was actually probably the correct amount of effort. Um, considering that I had so much wind at my back and then when I turned around um, it kind of just blasted me and it, it definitely slowed me down and I was really exposed because I was running along the beach so I don't think that I actually did so badly considering the wind it's kind of the, the same thing with hills like if it's a mile with a huge hill obviously that mile is gonna be a lot slower than, than a, a flat mile or a downhill so um, yeah I gotta remember to take into account all of the different environmental factors and geography of the land, etc., and weather, so it was a good day. I'm gonna go take a hot shower because it is cold out and I'm starting to feel my knees hurt a little bit, so I'm gonna go um, fuel up, make some food, and um, gotta go into work later, so off I go. Yeah. 